Today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to use FFmpeg to convert an MKV file into an MP4 file. Uh, there might be several reasons you may want to do this. Uh, probably the biggest reason is there's a lot of uh, software solutions like Plex or XBMC or Kodi uh, where you might want to have all MP4 files uh, so that you don't have to transcode uh, information and you can directly play or directly stream. Uh, there might be other reasons. Me, personally, I just like to make sure that anytime I, I rip a Blu-ray or anything and I rip it in an MKV format, I want to convert it over to an MP4 just because it's it's more compatible with most of the stuff that I use. So um, I'm not going to go through the installation method, but I will provide links in the description. Uh, here's one page. This is what the download page looks like to download the actual software. You'll simply have to download and extract it. Um, and this particular page uh, will run you through how to uh, quote unquote install it, uh, which isn't much of an install. It's mostly just setting up an environmental variable. Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and just dive right in and, and I'll show you quickly how to uh, uh, easily convert uh, an MKV to an MP4. Uh, this process will depend on your computer, but for me it takes uh, for a full movie uh, less than 10 seconds to actually do this. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually copy uh, my working directory that I'm working out of, and I'm gonna launch command prompt. And I'm actually going to change directories to this directory here. And then my next steps are going to be to type in ffmpeg dash i, which just is for the input, and then a space, I'm gonna hit the tab key. You can cycle through the different files in a particular folder or directory by hitting the tab key. Um, so this is the easiest way to populate that. And then you're gonna have another space after that and then a dash codec. Uh, that particular command tells the program to copy over all the data streams, all the uh, audio and video data, data streams, regardless of how many there are. And then we're gonna issue a copy command, and I'm also going to hit tab once more, and I'm gonna back up and rename the extension to MP4, because I actually want this to be in an MP4 container on the out file. So once I do that, I just go ahead and hit enter. And it'll start doing its thing. It'll go very, very quickly. This shouldn't take more than uh, five, ten seconds. So you can see actually the how many frames it's doing, and it gives you some some data. And that's literally all there is to it. And over here in my out file, I can see that these two files are basically the same. There is a small amount of overhead when you convert an MKV to an MP4, but it's pretty much negligible for all things considered. And this isn't a re uh, a reencode or a transcode. This is a straight lossless conversion. So you're not going to lose any any audio or video uh, uh, data quality. You're not going to lose any quality when you convert these. So it's a really just really quick, easy method to convert from one container to another container.